Good I'm joined today by a band who have reached number one in the midweeks and we're hoping that they'll go all the way this Sunday. It's You, Me at Six. Introduce yourself, guys. Hey, I'm Matt and I play bass. I'm Dan, I play drums. I'm Max, I play guitar. I'm Josh, I sing. I'm Chris, I play guitar. Now, we've been guest editing the Raz today and this is a very, very important week for you, isn't it? Because it is. um, you're right up against James Morrison. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Do you think that you're going to go the distance? I would, love, I would love to think that we could. You know? Only time will tell. He's, yeah. he's got like a big fan base. Also, he has a lot of loyal fans. So, yeah, it's going to be tight. do we? It's going to be tight. They're going to go by the record this week, Hopefully. aren't you guys? Mm-hmm. That's the plan. They'll we'll buy see. your record and they'll buy the daily record. There you yeah. go. Yes. It's all good. And um, I mean, I mean the thing is, the way that you sort of want to do this on the Raz page is you've been talking about the fact that rock is not dead, it's anything but. What do yeah. you think has led to the demise or the so-called demise of rock in recent years? Maybe the lack of UK rock bands, really. Um, the biggest one, I guess, we've got, we got, obviously got the stand like Biffy Clyro and big bands like that, but that's not enough, well. yeah, it's just not enough. Yeah, I, think it was, I think it was quite dominant in the 90s as well when bands like Oasis and Blur were about, so I think it's like, it's like a change and everything goes round in the cycle, you know, so obviously what's really big at the moment is a lot of urban, hip-hop and grime kind of stuff. I think, I think as well with the recession, like people make a choice these days, they go, I can buy the CD, I can go to a show, and for rock music, you want to go out, you want to see the live yeah. show. Because obviously a lot of top forty, you want to. They're not playing shows, so you want to go out and buy their CDs. I guess how many pop artists or urban artists are doing two nights to milk the King Bowl, like Foo Fighters, like they're not. So yeah, again, that just kind of rock is backs up what we're saying. Like, it's quite clear not there's a demand for it, but yeah. just it's just, just, just celebrated in different yeah. ways. Yeah. No, it's cool. Um, so the thing is, we're we're hoping that this is going to stick at the number one point. What are your uh, plans for the future anyway? Whether you're number one or not. Um, I, I guess in terms of Scotland, like we're going to be doing a show in Aberdeen on Tuesday, which is already unfortunately sold out, so you can't come. But uh, we're then going to come back in March and do the SECC in Glasgow, so that's going to be fun. And I don't know, just lots of touring. Yeah, we're off out to America pretty much straight lots after of, that tour, yeah. and then nice. out to Europe, and then it pretty much be Christmas. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Non stop then Christmas, and then we're going to go non stop again. Non stop again. Now, obviously, you chose the rock route mm. as a opposed to the pop route, was there a specific uh, factor in that for you guys? We think we all just love rock music, really. It's what we grew up with. Yeah. Yeah. listening to it. You're not going to grow up listening to it, rock music and then be like, mm, you know what, we should be a hip hop band. You never fancy the X Factor then? <laughs> nah, <laughs> not really. I know we've been talking about this today and um, it'll all be in the paper tomorrow. So what important things would you like to put in the paper tomorrow? Who would you like to discuss? Who would like to discuss? Probably us, Probably mostly. Us. Yeah. Maybe a little album called Sinners Never Sleep that um, came out this week. Yeah. Um, We've been talking a bit you, about the They haven't slept, obviously. Never sleep. Um, trying to think what You've else. been talking about Justin Bieber, weirdly. Justin, yeah, Justin Bieber. Jesse J. Watch, Jesse watch J. the Justin Bieber DVD, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> trying to think what else. Um, any thoughts on Adele? On, on I any love, of the other I love Adele. I'm a huge Adele fan. Yeah. So, maybe, that, so there's lots of love in the room? There was actually a rumour on Wikipedia before we did this album that we were going to do a collaboration with Adele and we were like, where the hell does that come from? Obviously it'd be awesome. That'd be it wasn't going to happen, but... Because she's, she's been in the top five for, for weeks and weeks and weeks now. If, if we had a collaboration with her, it'd be huge. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Zane Lowe say when we went and see him that Adele's she's a, fan she's a massive rock, rock fan? Like yeah, she likes Mike Kemp. Yeah. Yeah. So this is why. So would you do it? So are you putting this Adele, if you want to yeah. get your people to call our people, we'll unite as one. <laughs> Bring it together. <laughs> I think this you can't really turn down someone like Adele, can you really? I don't know. It'd be a privilege actually to play and play your mate. She's selling records all over the world, what's a really tough thing at the moment in this industry. So regardless of the record selling, she's just just amazing. amazing. Great singer pilot. as well. Inspired a lot of new singers to come out as well, as you see your next factor. So it's food for thought. We'll read all about it tomorrow and we'll see you in the charts. Thank awesome. you very much. Thank you.